aching or pain, so everything's great. That's because you do all that working out. <laughs> how, you, how much are you looking forward to dropping the puck here tonight and having Ted Lindsay night? How do you do that? <laughs> do I do it drunk? Just throw it or do I drop it? Throw it. Either one. Just drop it? Okay. Put a little mustard on Either it. One. Thank you for your patience. You can ask the referees for some pointers on how to drop the puck. Referees, don't, they can't answer any questions. So that's, they got a limited education. <laughs> You might feel like you want to lace them up when you hit the ice there tonight. No, I've given that up. I know my place in life now. It was a great life. It was a wonderful life. Frozen water was what I was raised on in Turkin Lake. And lucky enough to play with some of the greatest and against some of the greatest. Well, with, I don't know about your dad, Ted. Hmm? What your dad did in the My dad? Yeah. Well, he was... Uh, Long before. Yeah, but he he had a record in the NHL as goaltender. I didn't realize that. I know what's going on. You know me, Ted. I know that. <laughs> you know. He set a record for the most shots in one game. Well, you know, back in the older days, goaltenders couldn't drop to their knees. <laughs> but that was the goaltender. Was I thought good. he was smarter than that <laughs> as I grew up. And he was a great man. With uh, with the new arena getting ready to open and this going getting ready to close, do you have a favorite memory of Joe Lewis Arena? The only real memory I have of Joe Lewis is I was a GM with the Red Wings at the Olympia, and Coleman Young and I put the first bowl in the Joe Lewis Arena. <laughs> That's my claim to fame in Detroit. Did I know that your foundation uh, opened a new? Um, Headquarters last night. Yeah. For uh, autism. yeah. Tell me about what that meant to you last night. Very, very important. I became involved with autism 14, 16 years ago. In fact, Dominic Sarnecki was there last night. He was four years, it's just four years of age when I got involved. When I work out three times a week, his father was stretching me. He mentioned autism. I went home, and Joanne has a lot of medical dictionaries. Didn't know, never heard the word autism before. So next time I, re I read what it meant, and next time I'm getting stretches, I said, John, what we can, can we do for, Aut for Dominic? I said, well, we can raise money. How do all athletes raise money? They have golf outings. <laughs> so we just had completed our 16th golf outing, and my foundation donated a million dollars to Royal Oak Beaumont, and there's a, on, if you're on Green Greenfield Road, just before you get to 13 Mile, on the west side of the Greenfield, there's a nice new facility called Ted Lindsay's Hope Center. That's for autistic, autistic families. And very proud of that. The fact that uh, from Sergei Fedorov, Steve Eisenman, Chris Chelios, all the guys have helped support my foundation, golf hunting. To raise that money, I am very appreciative of it. How excited are you to have that new uh, space opened up for those families that can use that? Well, autism is predominantly a, separates a lot of families. The statistics, and the, I've come to the con conclusion that women are the stronger sex, and we, the men, are the weaker sex, because in national statistics, 90% of fathers disappear from the autistic family. It's the wonderful mothers that raise that child. And Dominic is a great example of that, but Dominic is lucky. He's got a wonderful mother and a wonderful father. The Red Wings have been struggling most of the season. Do you have any thoughts on how maybe they could get things straightened out? Good hockey player. I mean, it's fine to have skaters. This game, you get, everybody has to be able to skate. Other guys that like to play hard in the corner. Games I won in the front of the net, I won in the corner. Whoever comes out with the puck is a good hockey player. Watch that tonight, let's see. Like back in your day? Well, I, they were all good hockey players back in those days. There was only six teams. There were no Europeans at all. They were all Canadians. There were probably a couple of guys from Minnesota couple of guys from North Dakota. Remember one game, I think it was Fido Perper played for the Chicago Blackhawks. 
What did you enjoy most about playing in the game? I loved it. Still love it. Mm -hmm. I think I can't skate anymore. <laughs> Have you seen the little statue they're giving out of you tonight? Well, I haven't. Just, well, I guess I, maybe I did. I was signed a couple for Kim in the office. So I guess maybe I did, but I didn't get a chance to Study it. really check them out because I was trying to write and make them. I like to write so people can read my name. I don't give a straight line in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> to these $7 million hockey players. It's a replica of your statue up there. What does it meant to you to have a statue in this?